Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tay here, back with another video. Um, this video is going to be for the sign of Aries. And so if you are in Aries, Sun, Moon, and a rising sign, there will be messages in here for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump in, Aries. Um, and let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Dear spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, I pray that you give me accurate, detailed messages in regards to um insight and insight in regards to aries current situation if there are any hidden hidden enemies i pray that they are revealed thank you for your presence amen all right aries hey aries how y'all doing motherfucking ram what's been good what's popping what y'all been up to okay all right, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Okay, one more. They gave me two more. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. All right, Aries. So, I feel like... I feel like there is, you may be heartbroken in a family dynamic. Maybe a situation in regards to your family is leaving you heartbroken, okay? Yeah, something in regards to a family is leaving you heartbroken. So maybe some, there's been some type of betrayal Yeah, it, it see, it's almost as if you were wanting the best in, or you were hoping for the best in a particular situation, maybe with a with a um, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like this person may have betrayed you. You got the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. You also have the Knight of Pentacles and a Five of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like you're wanting to walk away from this situation. Um, I feel like someone has been dishonest, distrust. You're, you're not able to trust this individual. I feel like someone showed their true colors and who they are. All right, I'm getting believe them. All right. When, sh when someone shows you who they are, believe that shit. Yeah. It's like you wanted something, uh, you wanted something with this person. You got the six of cups. Yeah, you wanted something with this person. It's like you, you, you could see them in your future. I feel like they did something. This could be maybe a third party situation, okay? Yeah, it's like how many times do I have to, like how many times do we have to go through this? Yeah, someone's broken your heart. Or this is you. Okay. Take it as it resonates. You can swap roles as as it fits. Okay. Someone has broken someone's heart. Someone has a third party situation going on. Could be a fourth party, <laughs> fifth party, whatever the fuck. Okay. Yeah, but someone is is double dipping, I'm hearing. Mm. Yeah, you guys may have been going through this for a while now. It's like you keep giving this person chance after chance after chance and they keep fucking up. Why are you why are you putting yourself through that, Aries? You have the temperance here. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision, I feel. You're trying to make a decision on who and what option you should take. Yeah, I feel like you're stuck in between two, like a rock and a hard place is what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like you put too much trust in someone. 
you put you it's like you put too much trust in someone and you knew damn well that they weren't the one for you yeah you 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 felt the energy and you also you also um felt like the signs but i feel like you i feel like the signs were always there but you didn't take heed yeah You have a death, um, death and rebirth. So I feel like there is a need to um, change your perception, change, change the way you 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 do things. I feel like someone is always fucking you over, Aries. But it's like you're allowing this because you're not you're not making any moves. I feel like you're just stuck in your head about this situation. You're like, damn, why, why? I, you know, you. It's like you're. You're so caught up in looking into like what you guys could have had or what you would have had. But I'm getting you have to stay in the moment. They fuck you over. And it's it's almost as if you need to focus on yourself. Yeah. These motherfuckers or this person, this motherfucker could be um a Scorpio. I don't I feel like they're not for you. Mm-hmm. All right. Tell me more. Yeah. In your in your uh near future, I do see that there will be a friendship and abundance with someone. Okay, but I feel like it's not this person. You're like, damn, we just can't get right. <laughs> we just can't get right. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's a need to be in union with the people who support you, the people who are there for you. There's a need to communicate and socialize and be in union with people who you know got your fucking back, with people who you know that's gonna rock with you, with people who you know um ain't no no fuck shit is what I'm getting. Yeah, motherfucking loyal ass people. Yeah, because you're like, man, this shit, what am I, like, I feel like it's, there, there's time being wasted, is what I'm getting. Time is being wasted. Now, time is of the essence in this situation. It's like you've been doing this for so fucking long. Like, when are you going to step up and, and, and get the fuck? When are you going to make your next move? When are you going to... Uh, step into alignment is what I'm getting. Step into alignment of who you truly are, of your purpose, of people who who um who are your soul tribe. Yeah, because it feels like you're trying to work something out with someone who's not even on the same page as you. They're not on the same level as you. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's time for a change. It's time for a death and rebirth. A rebirth in the person who you are now versus the person that you see in 10 years from now. The person who you're wanting to become. There's a need for a change and transformation. Yeah, I feel like you're just, you're not making any moves right now, Aries. I feel like you, I don't know if you're in your head. If you're, you know, I really don't want to say the word stuck. I don't. Yeah, but there's a need for you to move. I'm hearing get up, get out, get up, get out. Yeah, it's time. Choose yourself. Yeah, but in the, in the near future, you have the two of cups here, right? So this is this you're going to be in union with someone. Someone who's who fits who you are, someone who who compliments you. You know? Yeah, it could be a water sign. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Again. Like I see there could be a Scorpio that you fucking with right now, but it also in your near future, it hey, take it as it resonates. It could be a uh, um could be a water sign, cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who could even be of a different nationality is what I'm getting. 
yeah someone who sees things differently who who maybe have come from overseas who may have may come from foreign a foreign country hmm. okay yeah get out your head aries it feels like this shit is um yeah this shit has come to a pass or it needs to yeah yep Three of Swords again. This it, this right here is the universe saying I meant what the fuck I said. Okay, I meant what I said. It's time to go. They've done you. They've broken your heart too many fucking times. It's time to maneuver. Clarify these three of cups, please. Thank you. Three of cups. Thank you. Okay. You got the ten of wands. Yeah. So what I'm getting is in this in your near future, Aries, you're going to be so you're going to be so packed. You whoever this new person is that you're meeting, that you're going to that you're going to come into alignment with. Right. Whoever this new person is. Now, again, it could be this person changing their ways or it could be somebody totally new. All right. But what I'm getting is in your near future, you guys, you're going to have a passionate relationship with someone. It's going to be so much fucking passion and love. Yeah. You guys are going to be in, 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 you guys are going to be abundant together. You guys are going to, are going to be on the same page. It's going to be more cooperation. All of that. What's this? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like this person is going to match your energy. What is that song it says by Vito? He says, um, baby, let me add to you. Baby, let me add to you. I just want to add to you, add to you, add to you. Say I don't want nothing from you. Let me add to you, add to you. Girl, let me add to you, add to you. Yeah. So this person, you guys are going to be like on the same fucking level, same page. Y'all going to be getting up, getting to the back together. It's what I'm getting yep all right you got the knight of wands if i yeah so with this um five of cups here this is this is some type of disappointment that you've experienced which goes back to this current situation that you're dealing with with this person it feels like this person has disappointed you so many fucking times and I, what I'm getting here is that there's a need to take a stance. There's a need to take a stance. Yeah. It's like, how much are you going to bear? How much are you willing to bear? It's time to bust a movie with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like you want this so bad with this person. But is it worth it? Mm. I'm going to let you answer that question. Yeah, I'm going to let you answer that question, Aries. There's a choice to, that needs to be made. Okay? There is a choice that needs to be made. Um, What are you going to do? Are you just going to sit there and let life happen to you? Or are you going to take ownership and take um, take a stance for what you believe in, what you deserve in a relationship? Now, this could be a relationship with a like um, a personal relationship or a love relationship. This could also be a relationship with a job, a relationship with a school, okay? Yeah. Does this situation serve you anymore? Does this person serve you anymore? 
right? Okay. Give me an affirmation for Aries. Thank you. I feel like someone is just looking at the other person like, damn, you fucked up again. But I'm not gonna sit here and look and, and, and I'm not gonna sit here and um and have pity on you because of your bullshit, because of what you did and your actions, because the lack of control there up, yeah, the lack of control, the lack of self-control. Yeah, I feel like someone is just looking down at the other person and they're just like, you are like you're not you're not it. You're not him, you're not her, whatever the fuck. Yeah. It's like you've broken my heart so many fucking times. Like it's it's unbearable. Okay. All right. Your affirmation says attitude. It says you were to imagine what if, I'm sorry, what if you were to imagine a world in which everything happened for you instead of one in which everything happens to you? What would you see differently? What would you do differently? The simple act of allowing yourself to shift your perspective has the power to shift your entire fucking life. Yeah. So Aries, your attitude about this situation, your attitude about this situation, does it serve you? Does it serve your highest good? What, how, how, you, how you look at this situation, are you down? Right? Do you feel sorry for yourself? Yeah. Which what goes back to what I said earlier. Are you letting uh, letting life happen to you? Are you just sitting there letting this bullshit go on? Which means if you are, you're accepting it. Okay? We don't want to do that. All right? Your next affirmation says adventure. It says, you can feel it, can't you? A gentle tug here, a soft push there. The steady whisper of adventure humming deep within your belly begging you to come and dance with it so what are you waiting for make the change take the risk embark on the journey you were never meant to thrive within anything else but that which makes your soul come to life I'm sorry, that which makes your soul come alive. Yeah, so you are meant to do whatever, what is on your heart. Okay, so you have adventure and attitude. Adventure means it's time to fucking go. Okay? You, you, you're going to live, in your, to live in your highest, highest purpose, your highest, um, your highest light. You want to do things that call to your soul of course right you want to do things that make you happy not not take wasting your time wasting your time dealing with bullshit bitches bullshit niggas you know what i'm saying like time is of the essence aries that's what i'm getting time is of the fucking essence wake up and change your attitude and your perspective about this shit all right yeah Mindful message for Aries, please. Mindful message for the Ram. Thank you. Mindful message for the Ram. Okay. It says together wow together okay i love working together with others and how it makes once impossible dreams possible i see there is strength in unity and how much we can accomplish together asking for help is not weak 
It is powerful. All right. What is it that you need to ask help with, Aries? What are you going through right now where you need to open your mouth and ask for help? Yes, we know you're ambitious as fuck. We know you got shit. We, we know you about that action. Okay? And you can hold your own. Yes, we know that. But where 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 there is um what is that saying where there is more than one what is that fucking saying if y'all know put it down in the comments what is that saying when it says where there's two in the mid two in the mist god damn it where there is two in the mist i don't fucking know i don't i'm when i remember Say, I'm going to put it in the comments. I don't, I don't. Where there is two in the midst. It, it's not coming to me. I'm sorry. Two is better than one. Okay. Two is better than one. You know that, Aries. Now, what do you need help with? Is it anything here that you need help with that you're not asking? You're not opening your mouth and asking for? What is it? All right. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I, I want to thank you in advance for liking, commenting, and subscribing and fucking with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, also, talk to me. I'll talk back. I promise I will. All right. So until next time, Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, Aries.